Hi everybody, today I will show you how to use Yeth WooCommerce as a product filter. So let's just begin. All right, to use the Yeth product filter, first of all, what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for Yeth product. All right, now you'll be able to see Yeth WooCommerce as a product filter. Okay, so we have to install this. So I have already installed and activated this. All right. So after this, what we have to do, we actually have to go inside our website first. So let's click on our store. And now we'll be going into the appearance and in the appearance, we'll be going into the widgets. All right. So here in the widgets, you will be able to see WooCommerce sidebar. Okay. So now we have to add our filter into it. Okay. But before that, let's just have a look at our shop. And now you will be able to see that right now we don't have anything on our sidebar. So now we're going to add the filter in our WooCommerce sidebar. Okay, so let's go back. And here, let's just click on the WooCommerce sidebar. Click on the add block. Perfect. Okay, so here what you have to do, you have to search for yet Ajax product filter. Okay, so let's just click on this one. And now you'll be able to add the product filter here. So the first filter that I would like to add here is filter by color. So let's just write down filter by color here. All right. So here, let's just click on the update. Perfect. So now let's go back, refresh the page. You will be able to see filter by color. So we actually have the three colors in our attribute value. So we're going to go back. All right. So after the title, you can see this, we have the type. So in the type, we have the four different things. So we have the color, we have the label, we have the drop down. So right now I'm going to select the color here. And after this, you have the query type, which should be and query or the or. So I'm going to go here with the end. And after this, you can see that we have the attribute. So in the attribute, you will be only able to see the two attributes, the color and the size. So these are the attributes that are defined in my WooCommerce store. Okay, so let's just click on the color right now because we want to filter by color. So you can see this, we have these three different values. So I can add the color based on it. So let's just add the black color on the first one. And for the blue, it would be blue. And for the red, this will be red. Perfect. So now let's click on update. And now let's just go back here and refresh the page. All right, so now you will be able to see these colors here. Filter by color. So we have these three different colors. Okay, so after this, I'm going to add the second filter here. So let's click on the add block, write down yet Ajax product filter. So let's click on this one. And on the second one, I would be filtering the data based on the size. All right, so we have our title filter by size. This will be the list and I'm going to change the attribute value here. So this will be size. Perfect. So now let's click on update. And let's just go back to our store. Refresh the page and you will be able to see our second filter, which is filter by size. Okay. So let's say if I just click on any of these filters, so I'm going to click here, filter by color right now. So let's click on the black color. You will be able to see this dress here. Okay. That is because I have labeled the color attribute as a black in this product. So that is why we are having this uh, dress. Okay. So the now thing is you can see here when we filter the data based on our filter, whether it is the color or the size, you can see here that the other filter is also missing. So we can't see the filter by size here. Okay. So now we have to do one thing here to resolve this issue that we have to go back into our widgets and we have to add the reset button in our yet. So now you can see here that we have the reset filter button. So let's add this one and now refresh the page. And let's just go back to our store, refresh the page here. All right. So now you will be able to see we have the button reset all filters. Okay. So when you apply the filters and then you want to reset it to the default value, you can simply click on this button. And this would basically let us to go back to our initial state. Okay. So let's say if you wanted to create a new attribute of your own. So for that, how can you do this? So you're going to go back into the widgets. And here you have to go into the products and you can see the option of the attribute. So let's click on this. All right. So now you can see here that we have the two attributes, the color and the size. That is why we will only able to see this one 
so let's say that i wanted to add the price same thing okay as a filter so i can add the price here so this would be also the price and this will be probably the label so let's add this attribute all right so i have done a mistake here in the type so i will just resolve this let me just add some values here all right so here the thing is that i just wanted to add the range of the value let's say i wanted to see the product from the 10 dollar to the 100 dollar or something like this okay so for that i'm going to add 10 dollar to let's say 100 dollar and i would basically add the value here okay so let's just copy this and put this here add new price so this would be let's say $100 to $1000 all right so let's just add the slug add the new price and similarly i can also add the other price values here okay but right now i'm going to go back into my attributes again and i have to do a one thing that is to change the type so it would be select update it perfect all right so now i'm going to go back into my appearance click on the widgets all right so now in here let's just add our last filter so let's click on our woocommerce sidebar and let's just add the filter here so let's just write down yet ajax product filter perfect the title will be filter by price okay so here it would be the list probably all right and let's just change the attribute here so let's go here with the price all right so in here i think i can go here with maybe the drop down as well perfect so now let's click on update now let's go back refresh the page all right so right now you won't be able to see the filter here because we haven't added any product into it so for that we have to go back into the products so let's click on all products and i'm going to edit any of these products so that we can see our filter all right so let's just go here with this one click on the edit all right so here we have to do one thing all right so here we have to click on the attributes and here i have to add the attribute of the price as well okay so so now i'm going to select the value here perfect so let's click on save attributes perfect so now let's just go back to our shop refresh the page now you will be able to see our filter by price okay before that it wasn't coming up the reason was that we haven't used that attribute into our products so if i just click on here now you will be able to see our product here so that is coming into under two thousand dollar all right so this is how we can do this as well and this is how we can use yet woocommerce product filter the woocommerce so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel